Hey guys, this is going to be a life update video slash get ready with me. I was intending to do like a daily vlog and talk about life stuff in that, but I just don't have time. But I need to do my makeup, so I figured I would just do it whilst I do my makeup. So I will be putting all the makeup I use down below, but I probably won't be talking about the makeup I'm using because I want to talk about life and stuff. Um, it would help if I had my foundation on me. So I'm not gonna mess around with the clickbait title, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, then you will already know this. Um, but I have quit my proper job. Um, and I <laughs> am scared. I don't entirely know what I'm doing, but all I know is that something had to give. I just reached a point where I just couldn't do it all anymore, which sounds like a cliche, so YouTuber. Um, but I mean like I've been working at my job for six and a half years well on and off for six and a half years um it's an amazing company to work for I love the people I work with I love the company um and like just everyone's incredible there and they're very flexible so I when I first started there I was full-time and then I went down to part-time about two and a half years ago so I left for a little bit had an office job for a bit then when I went back I went back part-time um so I've worked Friday, Saturday and Sunday for the last like two and a half, three years. I can't really remember exactly. Um, so I've been doing that alongside doing YouTube. Um, I have <laughs> been struggling with money quite a lot during that time because of course I've only been working three days a week. But the aim was for me to find another job and I just never found another job. I'm not good at interviews. I'm not good at like putting myself out there. So I always struggled to find another job. But then like two years ago ish year and a half ago my youtube started to like kick off a little bit so i thought okay maybe i can do this i started earning like enough to supplement my part-time wage from youtube that it would like equal one full-time wage if that made sense so i was pretty happy doing that for a long time um and now it's just reached a point where i have my horse so i have to go up and do my horse every single day um, I'm working this part-time job two or three days a week and I'm doing YouTube and I am just so busy all the time I feel guilty <laughs> whenever I'm like socializing or not working like if I'm at home I am doing work on YouTube like without a doubt there's like no question I am sat on the sofa or at my desk researching something or like editing or like something like that and I just honestly I miss having time off I miss like not feeling guilty when I go out to socialize with my friends because I have an amazing friendship group and we socialize quite a lot whenever I'm with them I just feel guilty I will have like if I stay out too late I feel bad that I'm gonna have to lie in a little bit so I will be missing an hour of work and I think I don't want to use the word like burnt out because it wasn't like a mental burnout but it just got to a point where it's just all a bit too much and so I spoke to my boss and I was like I think I need to stop I like I think I'm earning enough on YouTube now ish to be able to do this as my full-time job if you like factor in affiliate codes and um like my merch sales and stuff like that and my patreon has been a huge help I'm so glad that so many of you have been incredible and helped me out with patreon because if it wasn't for that I wouldn't have been able to do this at all I know there's this huge stereotype that youtubers earn like a load of money and we're rolling in it and that is not the case like I will just about be able to scrape along I think I like I I think I'm gonna be able to do it but I'm not 100% sure I said that I'm gonna give myself until the end of the year so until December and if by December then this just isn't working out for me then I will probably start looking for another job obviously I'll continue doing YouTube but like I probably have to not do it as much um but I'm giving myself to the end of the year which I think is like a good compromise on my behalf like luckily my family are really supportive my dad was like just do it so I just did it and now I'm terrified because I've got three days left of my job no four four days today's my like first or four days um and scared just scared luckily my boss has said like if everything goes wrong I can go back there anytime I want and it's amazing to have that like security just in case but honestly I don't really want to like I love my job but for years I would like look forward to going there every day and then recently I've just dreaded going just because I'm thinking I've got this email to reply to I've got this to do I've got that to do <laughs> and it's just a lot so yeah my boss said I can go back if I want to hopefully I won't have to but it's nice to have that 
But to be honest, if YouTube doesn't work out by the end of the year, I'll probably start looking for like something else. Um, I would quite like to do a university course, like if this does work out for me, then not this September, but no, maybe January. Maybe next January I might start an open university course in either forensic psychology or history. I'm leaning towards history at the moment, but I'm not, I'm not promising that I'm going to do it, but that's just a general life plan for me right now. Um, yeah. So that's it, I quit my job, I'm officially a full time YouTuber, I don't have a clue what I'm doing with my life, but I'm young-ish, I'm 24, nearly 25, which apparently is young, I feel like I'm very close to my death to be honest with you, um, but apparently everyone keeps telling me that I'm young and I still got life to live and like now is the time to do it, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> But I've got loads of really exciting stuff planned for this year. I mentioned that I want to do history videos. I'm probably going to aim to start doing history videos around mm, April time, I want to say. Um, I will, I don't know how or why or like, I don't know how it's going to work. Um, but obviously it won't be instead of true crime, it'll be supplementing the true crime stuff. So <laughs> I definitely needed to quit my job to be able to like do it. Because obviously true crime takes a lot, like... It's not a case of just like sitting in front of a camera and just talking, like it's hours and hours and hours of research and like hard work beforehand to like make sure everything's right because I don't want to be spreading misinformation and I want to like talk about a case as like honestly as possible so it takes a lot out of me. But yeah, plans for this year, history videos around that time I'm going to continue with the mystery stuff, I'm going to continue with the serial killer spotlights which I love. My serial killer spotlight this week, you may have noticed, is going to be a week late, it's going to go up this Saturday instead of last Saturday. I try and do it on the last Saturday of every month but I, it's half term and I work with kids um, so it's a very busy week for me, I'm working every single day this week um, which I always do in holidays. So I just haven't been able to get it up, so I'm just going to do it a week late. Um, next week there isn't going to be a mystery. I don't know what's going on my face next. Oh yeah, I do. Um, next week there isn't going to be a mystery because I just haven't had time to plan one and I didn't want to produce anything, like, not good. So I'm going to do a true crime Q&A instead, which, to be honest, I think a lot of you will enjoy just as much. I'll still be talking about cases, just, like, reviewing them and things like that. Um, which I'm actually going to be filming after this, I think. I have loads of really exciting holidays planned for this year. I'm going to Florida on Thursday, which I'm so excited for. There will be vlogs going up every Friday once I get back. So I think the 15th onwards, I think there'll be vlogs going up every Friday. Um, probably for like a month or so. And then I go to New York in April with my family, which is very exciting. Then I go to Marbella in June with all of my friends. I've organised for 15, or 13 to 15, not sure, sure exactly how many of us are going to be, um, of my friends to go to Marbella for a week, which is so exciting. We're staying in a very nice villa. We're calling it Poundland Love Island. Um, that's going to be really good. I'm so excited for that. That'll just be like chilled, getting drunk, just brilliant for a whole week. What else? Then I go to Rome, I think, in September as well, which is really exciting. And then I go to Vegas in October. So a lot of travelling this year, so a lot of travel content will be coming up alongside everything else. I'm just, I'm excited for the year ahead. But um, if you do fancy supporting me, then my Patreon and my pin store will be down below. Oh, when I get back in Florida as well, I'm looking at new merch, not merch, whatever you want to call it. I have an idea for a new pin that I want to release. Um, it's not necessarily true crime related, but it's quite Georgia, so I'm really excited to release that. Um, potential pop sockets as well. Um, I like asked on Twitter what merch people wanted, and Danielle, Danielle Hallen, replied saying, like, pop sockets would be a great idea. And I was like, how have I not thought of pop sockets? So I'm probably going to do pop sockets, to be honest. I was thinking phone cases, but there's just a lot of logistics involved with phone cases because everyone has different phones. But yeah, if there's any like particular merch you want to see, then please let me know down below. Um, I don't know how I feel about t-shirts and stuff. To be honest, I don't wear t-shirts myself. Like, they just don't look good on me. So I have never really thought about doing t-shirts or hoodies. But also, like, I don't want to take the piss and release things that are, like, really, really expensive. And t-shirts and hoodies and things like that are so expensive to manufacture and then I feel I feel guilty for charging you like 20 pounds for a t-shirt and then of course there's even more for people who are like overseas it just gets a bit silly which is why I like the idea of pins because they're so like cheap and easy to ship and they're just like I can package them easily I don't have to charge you guys like a shit ton um but yeah let me know which will also be the same case for pop sockets as well because that's going to be really cheap to package 
as well. I can't find the brush that I need. Here we go. I suppose you can also call this video a um, everyday makeup tutorial. So if you guys want to know what makeup I wear like every day, this is literally it. To be honest, most days I don't even wear makeup to work. It's only because I've got a video to film after this that I'm even bothering to put this on. Usually I like really dread the summer, like I hate summer weather, I'm not good with like heat in England, like the only time I like heat was, is when I'm like next to a pool with a cocktail or like some kind of alcoholic drink in my hand. I'm really excited for summer this year because I have my horse and we'll probably go down to the beach a lot with him, I'm so excited to like go out on hacks and just spend time at the yard, um, I'm just really excited for summer and like especially because I won't be working anymore because I've worked weekends for the last like six and a half years. It's gonna be amazing to have my weekends back. I can go out on a Friday night and drink as much as I want. I've referenced alcohol a lot in this. I come across the right alcohol, like I really don't drink all that much, I don't think. Um, but like I can go out on a Friday night with my friends and then not feel guilty the next day or not be really hungover at work. Well, let's be honest, all of my friends still work there. So I'll be the only one not feeling like I have to worry about getting out for work the next day. But yeah, I'm just excited to spend time with my pony. It'll be amazing to like be able to go up and do him every day because of course when I work at weekends, my sister does him for me at the moment, which is amazing. Um, and I'm just very lucky to have my sister be able to do it for me, but I want to be able to like do it myself. So when I am not working anymore weekends, I can be up there every single day and I'm so excited. If you guys want to keep up to date with my life, then I would recommend following me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I sort of keep you guys up to date on what I'm doing and when I'm doing things, mostly on there. But also I've recently discovered the community tab on YouTube. I don't know how long that's been around, really bad YouTuber here, but um, yeah, the community tab is great. So whenever I like have a big change and have big plans, I'll always put the community tab. So make sure you check that if you're ever like wondering if I miss an upload or like what I'm doing next. It's usually on there to be honest. So um, always check community tab. I don't even know like how it comes up in the homepage. How do you guys see the community tab post? Do you like get notified? I really don't know. There you go, that is pretty much my everyday makeup. Um, but yeah, round up this video. I quit my job. Am I insane? Probably. Am I gonna regret it? Maybe, we'll see. I mean, it'd be nice to have like a bit of freedom. It'd be nice to have days off. I'm really excited to have a day off where I can like sit on the sofa and watch films all day and not feel guilty for it. It's gonna be amazing. The plan is for me to like work full time, but self-employed Monday to Friday. So I get home from the yard at like 9 a.m., have a shower, sit at my desk, do work until like four or five o'clock at night and then have evenings off would be amazing. And actually like not work at weekends. That is the aim. I wanna like have structure. That's what I'm gonna try to do, but we'll see. It probably won't work out like that, but it's nice to give it a go. Make sure you let me know if you have like any ideas for my channel down below. Also merch, not merch, ideas as well. Um, thank you for supporting me. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do this, which is pretty damn cool. You should be very proud of yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. And that's it. Wish me luck. <laughs> Bye.